Okay, today's video is entitled RC Circuits Charging a Capacitor. And I'm going to go over a simple explanation for charging a capacitor with respect to time. And we will be talking about voltage, charge, and current. And for this video, I used one of the excellent interactive simulations from PHET Interactive Simulations. They are, of course, out of the University of Colorado at Boulder. Here's their website. Whether you are a teacher or whether you are a student, they have excellent interactive simulations for both science and maths. Check out their website. It is very helpful. Okay, so first of all, we're going to look at this circuit. This circuit, of course, does not have a capacitor in it. This circuit only has a 10-volt battery and a 5-ohm resistor. And we're going to be using this for comparison for our next circuit, in the next simulation, we'll be, pl be placing our capacitor right over here. But I just want to point out for comparison purposes, I'm going to turn this simulation on, I'm going to close this switch, and you will notice that the current immediately goes to its maximum value, 2 amps, because we have a 10 volt battery and a 5 ohm resistor, Ohm's law, V equals I times R, immediately goes to 2 amps and stays steady state at 2 amps. There is no delay in the increase from 0 to 2 amps. And if I run the simulation again and then open the switch, you will notice that the current immediately goes back to 0 amps. There is no delay in the decrease from its maximum of 2 amps back to 0 amps. All right, and we're going to be using that for comparison for our next circuit, which has our capacitor in it. And you can see right here we have our 0 0.15 farad capacitor. This graph will be monitoring, showing us the voltage across the capacitor with respect to time. We have a 10 volt battery again, a 5 ohm resistor, and this graph will be showing us the current with respect to time for this simulation. Now, I'm just going to do the same thing again. I'm going to turn the simulation on. I'm going to close the switch, and you will see that the current begins to flow through the circuit, and then it begins to stop. And you can see from our graphs, the one for the current and the one for the voltage it looks different than the previous simulation we had, the previous circuit. And you can see here, the current goes to its maximum of 2 amps immediately, 10 volts, 5 ohms, 2 amps of current, but then it immediately begins to de decay exponentially back to zero. Why is it beginning to decay exponentially back to zero? Because of course now we have our capacitor in our circuit. And this graph is showing us the voltage across the capacitor with respect to time. And you can see that over time, exponentially, the voltage across the capacitor increases to 10 volts. The capacitor will be fully charged when the voltage across the capacitor is equal to the voltage of the battery. When the voltage across the capacitor is equal to the voltage of the battery, then the capacitor is fully charged and when the capacitor is fully charged, then the current will be back at zero and no more current will flow through the circuit. So current flows through the circuit until the capacitor is fully charged. And the capacitor is fully charged when the voltage across the capacitor equals the voltage of the battery. That's all there is to it. There's not a whole lot more you can say about that. This is an exponential decay back to zero. This is an exponential increase to the maximum voltage. And you can see here that it takes time for the charges to reach the capacitor. It takes time for the capacitor to become fully charged. And you can see that in this graph, the time it takes for the capacitor to be fully charged. So now I just thought for the heck of it, I would just do the whole thing over again one more time. It just takes a second. Whoops, we're going to move the whole thing. I want to open that switch. I'm going to manually discharge this capacitor, which this nice simulation allows me to do. I'm going to turn the simulation back on. I'm going to let everything come back to zero, basically. And then I'm going to close the switch again. And you can see the current flows, and the current continues to flow until the capacitor is fully charged. And then when the capacitor is fully charged, 10 volts, then there is no more current flowing to the circuit. All right, that is really all there is to it. OK? In uh, previous videos, I have made videos for discharging capacitors and also videos talking about the time constant, how we calculate the voltage across the capacitor with respect to time, which you can link to in the upper right-hand corner 
of this video. So thank you very much for watching. I appreciate you watching. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please do all the following three things. Please subscribe to my channel, get all my excellent chemistry, physics, and math videos. Give me a nice thumbs up for this video and leave me a nice positive comment in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching and we will see you in the next video.